Hello guys, Softoni here. Uh, welcome to another video tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to create uh, this awesome long shadows, uh, really cool looking. And uh, for that I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you can always get notified whenever I post a new clip. Uh, so let's see what we can do today. Alright, here we are in After Effects 2021 and first of all, like always, we're going to create a new composition. Go here on this little icon to create a new composition. Shortcut for uh, creating a new composition is Ctrl plus N. Hit here and then we will rename it Shadow. Okay, uh, width 1920, height 1080, a full HD composition, frame rates 30 frames per second and duration, it's up to you but I will choose uh, around 6 seconds. Then hit OK. And first thing that we're going to create is uh, our solid layer. Right click here in our timeline, then go new to create a new solid. To create a new solid layer, OK. And we will call it background. Also 1920 by 1080 and then hit OK. Uh, after this, uh, we will import our first effect, go here in effects and preset. If you can't find this effects and preset, go here in window and turn uh, this uh, effects and preset panel on. All right, and then type here uh, for, for color gradient. All right, just drag and drop this effect here uh, in our timeline and we will here readjust a few settings. Uh, grab this handle, move it around here, uh, this one maybe around here, this third, third one around here and fourth one around here. For this first color we will do maybe a purple one, something like this, hit OK. Uh, for this uh, color two we will grab orange one, maybe this one, also, you can use eyedropper to readjust your next color, something like this. All right. And uh, that's it for now. All right. Uh, next thing what we're going to create is our uh, grid. So hit here, right click, then uh, new and then go solid. We will name it grid, something like this, 1920 by 1080. And the effect that we're going to use is CC ball action. All right, in this effect, uh, we will do grid spacing maybe around 20, something like this. For ball size, maybe around, maybe around 10, something like this. Also grid spacing, we will do maybe also around 10 here, something like this, really cool. Also, we will import our fill effect, drag it above this uh, ball action effect. And if you want, you can use white color. Also, you can play around with uh, blending modes. If you can't see this uh, blending mode, just hit here on this expand or collapse icon to see uh, our blending modes, maybe soft light or something like that. And you will see this tiny uh, white spot. Also, you can duplicate this one if you want and to get something like this. All right. Uh, next thing what we're going to do is to create uh, our text, grab this uh, text text handle here or, co or control plus T, horizontal type tool, and then we will hit here uh, to create our new text. I'm using this sign font, uh, height uh, 150, and we will type creative, something like this. Use align tool up to align it to the center, go align. Also, if you can't find a line, go here window and then hit here to align. All right. And this will be our first text. Uh, we will animate it here in our animate panel. Go here, animate, choose position. Also add another parameter. Uh, go here, add and then property and then go here, opacity. All right. For this uh, position, we will do maybe around uh, one. 110, something like this, and opacity to zero for now. 
open up this range selector here and move up to maybe around 1 seconds 20 frame hit this off offset go around 100 go to the first uh, keyframe and then go to minus 100 open up this advanced tab and choose this uh, shape from square to ramp up and also uh, is high and is low uh, 50 percent something like this all right uh, next thing what we're going to do is to hit w to find uh, our those uh, keyframes uh, choose them hit f9 on your keyboard then go here in the graph editor if you can't find a curve like this hit right click and then edit speed graph okay and then i draw a line like this something like that all right when we hit zero we're getting this really cool animation also if you want you can randomize order go here in our advanced tab and hit here to randomize order choose on and we will get the really really cool animation really cool all right next thing what we're going to do is to duplicate our creative text hit ctrl plus d on your keyboard or go here edit and then duplicate and first effect that we're going to import is our fill effect choose black color and second one uh, second effect that we're going to use is radial fast blur move it here and then this second text move it uh, around here all right and we're getting something like this uh, next thing what we're going to do is to uh, uh, hit here on the radial fast blur then uh, choose this uh, tiny spot and move it around here and for amount you can go around 80 five percent something like this and when we hit zero we're getting this really really cool animation also next thing what we're going to do is to link this uh, second text with our uh, first text so when you uh, when you change this first text it will automatically change this uh, uh, awesome shadow in behind go uh, text here and then also text here something like this uh, hold alt on your keyboard for this uh, source text uh, second uh, shadow hit alt and then use a pick whip to drag and drop here in our source text something like this and also when we hit uh, here and to change text something like this our shadows uh, has been update, updated here really cool all right i will do command plus z just to see this creative text and final thing what we're going to create here is to add another adjustment layer uh, first adjustment layer uh, something like this we will name it spotlight and find spotlight effect here in effects and preset drag and drop here and uh, we will readjust few settings drag this one this point here something like this uh, edge softness go around 100 for this cone angle maybe around here something like this all right you can play around with those numbers to get a result that you want something like this intensity around 70 and we're getting this really cool looking scene here in After Effects. All right, and now when we hit zero, we're getting this really cool and creative scene. Also, one thing I've forgotten to mention is that you can animate this uh, uh, shadow behind this uh, text. We can also uh, rename it for shadow, something like this, and you can play around with this something like this go around maybe two seconds hit keyframe for center and for the first seconds move it around here and when we hit zero we're getting this really cool animation it's up to you uh, if you want these static shadows or these moving shadows uh, you will create your own way 
All right, guys, this was a really cool tutorial. I hope that you learned something new. I want to thank you again for, uh, for watching this uh, creative tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so you can always get notified whenever I post a new clip. Also, take a look on my profile page on my channel for even more great projects. Also, all links are in the uh, description. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.